This is Professor Homa, and welcome to the wonderful, exciting world of anchor points. We're just going to go over real quickly what anchor points are, and just so you know how to identify them. That's it. We'll do more things with them later. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ellipse, or my oval tool, as I like to call it, and I'm going to click once on my page. And if I hold the option to click in the middle of my page, it'll actually make it originate from the center so that it won't go off to the side. So I'm going to option click, and I'm going to create a 6 by 6 oval or ellipse and it already has those numbers in there so I'm gonna hit OK and there it is and if I need to move it around a little bit I could grab it in the middle but you're used to seeing the transform handles when I use the selection tool these are transform handles there's eight of them and they can be used to rotate objects scale objects squash down objects by using the middle handles we've used those before but what we're gonna talk about now is anchor points um, to see the anchor points we're going to need to use this tool over here. And I'll take a second just to hover over that. That's the direct selection tool. It's the white arrow, sometimes I'll refer to it, as opposed to the black arrow, which is the selection tool. The white arrow is our direct selection tool, and it's used to select and manipulate anchor points. We can't delete anchor points with it or convert them. We'll use another tool, but just to do our, our, main, of our, our main editing, we'll use this tool. So when I select this tool, we see our anchor points. There they are. This thing in the middle, not an anchor point. These things are anchor points. They're actually used to connect the line segments together. Line segments can be straight lines or they can be arced or curved line segments like you're seeing here. So these are my anchor points and all four are selected right now. I know that because they're showing up solid. That means they're selected. So if I move one, they all move together. If I wanted to see what they look like unselected or deselected, I'll have to click off and I'm just going to click on my path and now I'll see here's my four anchor points. There's one, two, three, four. They're unselected. They kind of look like transform handles when they're unselected, when they're hollow like that, but they're not. We don't see the box around. It's a little more confusing when it's a square, but these are unselected anchor points. If I clicked in the middle, I'd select all four of them. If I clicked off again, and click on the path on the edge, I could select just one of them. There, I just selected an anchor point. You can see it has these handles coming out from them, which actually control the arc of the curve. But for now, all I want you to know is that you can grab an anchor point and move it around. And that's all I'm going to do. I can move one. I can go and select the one over here and move it. You could select it one, of a one at a time. I could select two of them. Here, I'll highlight through these middle ones, and I can move these up and down you can see it's kind of making a weird egg shape as I do that I could select I could highlight through three of them and select three of them and stretch this out and leave the bottom anchor point intact um, but that's basically moving and selecting anchor points using the direct selection tool um, and if you ever need to just select one just click off click off and then click on the edge of your shape um, when you click on an anchor point you'll see two handles coming out or at least on a circle you will um, one handle controls that line segment, this handle controls part of that line segment. Um, if you click on a line segment, you'll see the handles that are coming out controlling that line segment. But no anchor points are selected right now. So again, there's two types of anchor points that we'll actually have to know, and these are called curve points. They're called curve points because if you, um, they actually create a smooth transition between each line segment and they do that with these handles. If I raise a handle up, you'll see the other handle goes down. They work like a seesaw. So if you want to know what a curve point looks like, or an anchor point that's in curve mode, it, you'll see handles and they'll move like a seesaw. That's the only way you'll see a curve point. Handles that work like a seesaw equals curve point. That's it. Remember that. Say it over and over again. Handles that work like a seesaw, curve point. No handles, for example, if I just drew a, I'll just draw a rectangle over here. If there's no handles, they're corner points. If I use my direct selection tool, I click, I'll click on one of these. You can see I move that around. Those are corner points. There's no smooth transition between them. So that's a corner point, no handles. These are curve points because they all have handles. Every one of these has a handle that works like a seesaw. So they're curve points. Um, so handles that work like a seesaw, curve point no handles corner point and there's only a third type of point it's still a corner point but it'll actually be a corner point with handles that work independently that we'll talk about later so 
All I just wanted to go over right now is identifying anchor points, seeing them, and being able to select them. That's all we'll do right now, and we'll move on with this and do a few more things with anchor points.